Welcome back to three months of Modal Logic, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with temporal logic, looking at inductive temporal logic. This video is very much going to build on some of the concepts we had in the previous video, so it's highly advisable that you check that video out on well-ordered temporal logic pretty soon. So, inductive temporal logic. In the last video we learned about forward induction, which implies backward directedness. This system, ZT, which corresponds to the integers, positive and negative non-decimals, plus zero, will include both forward induction and backward induction, therefore both forward and backward directedness. It's also going to include both no end and no beginning as well. This makes sense. If you think of the integers, basically all negative and positive non-decimals or non-fractions when you're thinking about it, whole numbers as it were. They go on forever going forward, forever going backward, but each number has an immediate successor and an immediate predecessor. They're not dense, basically, but they don't end in either direction. So it makes sense that they would be forward discrete, backward discrete, and have no beginning and no end. So basically, ZT is going to have the following axioms. The temporal axiom of no end, if you're curious why this works to make our system not have an end, check out the previous video. But the thing to remember with both this and the temporal axiom of no beginning is that at the end of time, GP is vacuously true. And at the beginning of time, HP is vacuously true for all P. We're also going to have our temporal forward induction axiom and our temporal backward induction axiom. You should note that the only difference between these is past versus future. We've just switched all the F's for P's and all the G's for H's between them. So if you're curious about kind of these induction axioms, once again, check out the previous video where we go into a little bit more explanation. Because this system is just kind of a re-examining of it, we're not going to go into too much in-depth here. These axioms plus LT, linear temporal logic, if you're curious, create system ZT. The backward induction axiom is just the past version of the forward induction axiom, and it claims that all moments must have an immediate successor. For more on all of these axioms, check out the previous video on NT, our well-ordered temporal logic. Basically, ZT is going to be the same as NT, but it has no beginning, so it isn't well-ordered, in the same way that integers are like the natural numbers. Hopefully that makes sense. Up next, we're going to be looking at dense temporal logic, also known as QT. Watch a new video every single day for three months here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.